What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmarTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the AAA instruction short for ASCII adjust after addition. So let's get started. Now what is the AAA instruction? The AAA instruction adjusts the binary results of a add or a ADC instruction assuming that AL contains a binary value produced by adding two ASCII digits. AAA converts AL to two unpacked decimal digits and stores them in AH and AL. Once in unpacked format, AH and AL can easily be converted to ASCII by ORing them with 30H. And I'll show you exactly how that works. The first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to move into AH the value of zero. So we want to set AH to zero. So when we use the AA instruction, we have no problems. We have to set AH to zero or else uh, the values are going to change later on. So that's important. So now we're going to move into AL, the value of ASCII 8. So ASCII 8 is two single quotes. In between two single quotes, it's the digit 8, right? So we're moving into AL, the ASCII 8. So now we're going to add into AL, ASCII 2. So again, two single quotes. In between two single quotes, we're going to add 2. So AL already had ASCII 8, and we're adding into AL ASCII 2. But remember, these are binary values right now. It hasn't been converted to ASCII yet. So now we're going to use the AAA instruction. Once we use the AAA instruction, what's going to happen is it's going to convert or adjust AH and AL uh, it's going to change them so that when we use the OR and we OR into AX, 30H, it's going to convert it to ASCII. It's just preparing, basically, so that when we OR, it'll convert it to ASCII. So now we're going to OR into AX, right? 30, 30H, and this is going to convert it into ASCII. So, so in here, it's going the AAA is going to adjust so that when we OR again, and we OR uh, the value of 3030H into AX. It's going to convert AX into ASCII code. And it should be ASCII 10 because ASCII 8 plus ASCII 2, then AX should equal ASCII 10. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit emulate here. Our first line of code here is highlighted, move into AH, the value of 0. Again, we're setting AH to 0. So I'm going to hit single step. And AH is still 0, as you can see here. So now our second line of code here is highlighted, move into AL, ASCII 8. So once I hit single step here, AL should have uh, ASCII 8. And uh, this is uh, 38H, right? Is ASCII 8, basically. And now uh, our third line here is highlighted to add. We're adding AL with ASCII 2. Remember, AL already had ASCII 8, so we're adding ASCII 2, so that should make ASCII 10. But if, if we don't use the AAA and OR, it's, it won't be converted to ASCII. It'll still be binary. So let's hit single step here. Now AL here has a value of 6A, a hexadecimal value of 6A. So now our uh, fourth line of code here is highlighted the AAA instruction. Once I hit single step, it'll uh, adjust AH and AL. So I'm going to hit single step here. And now uh, AX has a value of 0100H. So now our final line of code here is highlighted, and we're ORing AX with 3030H, so we're converting uh, AX to ASCII. So let's hit single step. Now AX has a value of 3130H, which is ASCII for 10. So let's test it out. I have this uh, converter here, and it's I got it from www.brana.com forward slash ASCII slash converter. And I'll leave a link in the description. This is a neat converter that I found useful. So again, we got 3130H, right, in AX. And as you can see up here, I converted it to ASCII 10. So 3130H is ASCII 10. And I'll open this over here. And as you can see, our, our AX had 3130H, which converted it to ASCII 10. As easy as that. I'm going to explain again from the beginning. So we started off. Let's just close this here first. Let's close this here. We started off by um, moving into AH to value 0. So we're setting AH to 0. Now our second line of code here is highlighted. Move into AL ASCII 8, right? So we're moving into AL ASCII 8. So basically, so AX at this point is equal to 0038H, right? So now when we add into AL ASCII 2, AX should be equal to... 006AH, right? 
A is capital here. Now, when we use the AAA instruction, AX should be equal to 0100H. And our final line of code here, when we're ORing AX with 3030H, AX will finally become 3130H, basically equal to uh, ASCII 10, right? And another single quote. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.